If you have not watched the first video in this series please do so. You can find the first video in the description below, or on the Delphi Mystics YouTube channel. It explains why this video was recorded the way it was, without polish or direction. Without further ado, here is your video. So in theory what I would do is I would take this uh, head stuff out and put it in its own include. Um, and I would pull those files in. Uh, you know what? Hey, let's let's just do it. So uh, other let's web HTML page. Save as. Um, you know I don't really feel like going through and putting the extra include in there, but let's do header.html. And then if I go back to my about page here and I steal all of this funness, uh, we'll call it all the way down to the body. Okay. In fact, in fact, if we wanted to go full Laravel, how would we do this? Oh, I know how we would do this. If we were going full Laravel, like in, in that, that vein here. Yeah, let's do this. And other page. HTML and then yes okay All right, so again, we're going with the approach like I'm doing Laravel here. So we're gonna find that remaining body tag at the bottom. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna insert it in the footer. We're gonna take our app layout and we're gonna change this. And what we're gonna say here is gonna be uh, header, Content footer. Okay. So, um, yeah. And you could actually do like nav bar or footer scripts. There's all kinds of ways you could actually break this down. I'm just going to do it this way for now. Uh, Although I really don't like the fact that that nav bar is littering up my code. You know, again, OCD compulsions, but we'll, we'll do it. So, okay. Save as. Template. Um, all right, we're going to nav bar. That's what we're done. And I would normally put these in their own folder uh, maybe even create like a layouts folder and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just doing this for a demo guys. Don't take it too seriously. Structure your code in a way that makes sense and is clear and concise, easy to read, you know? Uh, all right. So my nav bar, I have the layout. Let's, uh, let's go steal the nav bar out of here. So we stop having that confusing our issues. All right. So we cleaned things up quite a bit with just that, didn't we? Okay, so now I'm back over my nav bar. I'm replacing the code. Let's go back over to our app layout. Uh, nav bar, okay. 
All right, so how are we gonna work this into our template? So I think we're gonna use one of our common functions here to do ready content. And we're gonna pass it in. How do we wanna do this? A template name. String, a layout name, and then we're going to have it return strings. Okay, so again, we're starting to get a little more advanced as we go here. Um, SL result two strings. Uh, oops. All right. So let's go steal some code from over here. So I guess the way that I kind of, again, off the cuff envision this is template name is going to go here. Um, And if it doesn't exist, we need to revert to our 404 anyway, right? So let's go make a change to our 404 page because here's the deal. Uh, we aren't going to need any of that in our 404 anymore. Okay, it's gonna try to load it it's going to handle our, our var processing. And again, this should be turned into like a set of key value pair handling. Uh, and then in fact, you could almost make that driven with like a SQL light database or something. Yeah. Again, I could play with this all day. We got two different, I guess we got two different errors going on here or two different potential errors, which is save as, 404 template versus straight 404. Um, because it just dawned on me, we can have two different 404s right now. Uh, right. So since this was the original, let's do this. Okay. All right, so if I'm over here, I guess the very first thing that I'm gonna try to do is I, I'm gonna try to load in my template, right? And this is gonna be where we're, you run the risk of the one 404 path versus the other. So, oops. Fat fingers need to slow down. All right. And okay. Path the limb. Oh, our app layout. Okay, and our app layout needs to go into here. Let's do this. My layout. My layout. Okay. <clears throat> method to the madness. Okay, so over here, my new potential thought process is, we're gonna check to make sure if any of the template elements are missing. And if they are, 
then we're going to throw the 404, which may make sense because you can't render the page properly at that point. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, how many page elements do I have? I had three, right? No, we have four. Okay, so our four page elements are gonna be uh, header, navbar, and footer, in addition to the original layout. All right, so if it's missing any of the, the template elements, then it's gonna go ahead and, or sorry, if it finds all the template elements, it's gonna go ahead and render our, our template here. Um, and we actually are gonna need to template part, create another one of these. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna load the core layout and then we're gonna want it to load the template part, which is gonna be the, the piece of the template that it needs to merge in at that moment. In this case, we're gonna say the header. Oops, prefixed, okay. Um, and then it's gonna SL result. Um, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, I don't wanna search the whole thing, so. So result point equals text dot replace um, header with SL template text. Terrible way to do that, but that's how we're gonna do it. Because this video is already getting too long here. Um, can't do the content yet, but we can do the, oh, wait, we didn't have our, yeah, yeah, we can do the footer. And actually, we should have used our swap function. So um, let's go with this guy is our tag. That's our value. And that does need to remain a string. And then this guy is our result. And you know, I could have done that differently. You could do this as a procedure instead and just pass the the template and or the yeah the template in as a uh, um, as a variable instead of you know so instead of instead of passing it in as a as a value you pass it in as an, a changeable variable so um all right so what do we got i have completely hillbillied this but we'll fix it okay and then navbar and again i've had to do the same i mean i, I know it probably seems like i'm driving a mile to to go 100 feet but uh, I've had to do the same kind of thing with other PHP things that I've done and even some Visual Studio stuff that I've done. So I'm not too dismayed at going this way with it. Um, okay. Add bar and footer. So if I had this to do over, I would probably pass them in as a set. Uh, or uh, like a, a collection of names or a list of strings or something so that uh, we're not stuck with just header and bar footer. We can, we can pass in again, a set of key value pairs, so to speak. Um, all right, so we've done all that. 
We've determined that it's not necessary to do a 404 right this second. Um, let's make an adjustment to this 404. So, hang on, one's a 404 that's templated and one's not. So this one is gonna be the templated 404. Um, all right, because that means the template did already kind of exist at this point. Okay. So now we have our layout. We're going to come down here. We are going to, let's load our content into this template part instead. So yes, I like this idea. All right, and then we, do our tag swap at this point with our result, and it's going to be content. Um, it's going to be our, our thing that we're swapping. And then we basically are changing all that, which probably didn't need to, but whatever. Actually. I like that no, because I still need the exit there. Sorry. And you get you. Okay. So that should. Ooh. Yeah, we could do that. Less lines to sort through. And then we could. That works. I like that. All right. So if I go like this now, where did my handler go? Okay. So none of this actually needs to be handled over here anymore. Now we're just doing that. I don't know if this is going to work, guys, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, start, stop. Somehow they got out of sync. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, all right not enough actual parameters. Ah, because we did not pass in about and we did not pass in my layout. Let's try it now. Oops, yeah, there's no way to run that. I just have to build it. And then we start. All right, so Roll the dice. I don't know how this is going to go. What we got back was exactly what we put into our about. Was it? Yeah, it's what we put into our app layout. All right, let me take a look here. Okay. So... In order for it to have gotten to that point, it had to have loaded the elements. So it has the template in SL result. But it means that they didn't store. Why? Why didn't you store? Oh, no, I can't debug. All right, so that is an advantage that Visual Studio has. My first response was I wanted to try to debug. Um, let's take a look at our layout. 
Okay, so our layout should have matching data. All right. So we passed in and it, it found the template because we had the uh, squiggle dudes here. What else we got? Come on. File like this. Okay, it loaded the content. All right. Load from file. And then it passed that over into the other one. And then, all right, so what it looks like to me, all right, let's try this. Let's try something very rudimentary here. Um, let's see if our problem is here or if it's down there. So my header, my footer, and oops, this one's my footer. This one's my nav bar. Okay, let's, let's try this now. Stop. Build. Start. See that? Okay, so what that tells me is it is loading the template and nothing else. All right. Why? Okay, load from file, as result. Oh wait, I think I see it. So, ham. So what we got is we got step one, we got our template being loaded. You know, let's clean this up. All right, so we're gonna say layout string template, or not template, uh, header, string, nav bar, string, and footer, string. Okay, so, because <clears throat> this looks all for complicated and it shouldn't look this way. So I have violated the conventions of clean code here. Let's do this. All right, so what it's gonna say is, if this file exists, then we're gonna make it that. Yeah, it looks ugly. All right. Um, Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go even further. We're gonna make it that anyway. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that if that exists, uh, if it doesn't exist, then we're gonna zero it out. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other elements. Nav bar, footer, S, nav bar. I'm sorry, that was S header. S, nav bar, S, footer. Okay. And, oh, almost forgot. Uh, okay. If not exist. 
exist, the file exists. All right, so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to take this and trim it down to if our layout is not equal to blank and our header is also, okay, and nav bar. And then the last element, which is the footer. Okay. If none of those are equal to blank, then it's okay to proceed. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and load the layout. And we're going to load the header. And you know what, I'm gonna go even further with this. Let's refactor this. So header, footer, nav bar, layout, and content. See, my thing is that when you get lost in your code, you've done something wrong. You've basically, your code has, has now deviated from clean code. And because I don't have debugging, I have to keep a clean code on this. Okay, so my layout is here and my header is here. Okay, and while we're at it, Let's just go ahead and load in all the other elements and not, not even mess with these. I just thought of another way that I could refactor this. Uh, all right, so navbar. Uh, what else did we have? Oh, our footer. And you know what else we can do? Well, no, because content we want we want to be able to alternate between the 404s. So uh, navbar and footer. Okay. So we now have each of our template elements, and they've been loaded. So we need to composite them together, I guess. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is we need to alter the layout using tag swap, tag warp. I'm totally gonna use that someday. All right, uh, header. And then uh, what's the next piece here? Ah, SL header, or we're gonna actually insert our header in there. And, uh, oops, wait, is that right? Ah, oh, yeah, our source content needs to go with it. Okay. And you know what, just for giggles, let's do this the other way. Um, var a source B strings. So since we're busy cleaning things up, let's make an adjustment to this guy. So now, We don't need to do that anymore. Um, actually, we do. We still need to do that. So, a data, or sorry, is it a data? Oh. Oh, 
Yeah. All right. So we just we need to take this out. Okay. Not entirely sure why S footer is not valid. But we will circle back to that issue in a minute. All right, so what did we do? Oh, we're in the middle of refactoring. All right, so what we've done Yeah, all right, here's how we're gonna do this. I line up here. Okay, so for I line zero to our source count. That's going to lead us to skipping lines. Nope, we have to do it the other way. I'm not sure what it's doing here. But come on, back it up. There we go. Okay. So we have to do it this way. Um, it looks like what our best bet is going to be to do is at the very end, a source is going to get remasked to, there we go. Not the greatest way to do it, but I think that works. All right, so let's go through this one last time. Create an a source string list. It runs through, does its heavy lifting. Oh, I just figured out why it's not working. I didn't have to do 90% of that. I didn't need to add those in front of it. All right, well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna change this up anyway. All right, so it's gonna run through and then it's gonna reassign. All right, so this should work now. All right, so tag swap is now this extra superfluous little thing on the end. Doesn't need to be there. So <clears throat> we take these guys out. All right. Navbar. and footer. So template elements, uh, here we go. Uh, SL navbar, SL footer. Okay. So we have altered the layout to have the navbar and the footer. And yes, that is a million times cleaner now. All right, so I'm st ah, I see it now. Okay, so down here we're gonna do something similar. Instead of this, it's gonna be SL content, right? Um, and we did not load the content yet. Okay, so that's appropriately placed. But now we can alter all these tags. All right, so how do we do this? This was, oh, yes. So SL content is just going to be what's passed into here. And then the very last tag on this list is my content tag. And our content's going to get passed in against our layout. Yes, our content is going to get passed in against our layout. And then our result is going to be our layout. All right. So what I've done now is I've rendered uh, this this way. So now it should go. Stop, build, probably did something stupid somewhere. 
Uh, we'll go with it. All right, and oh, ooh. Uh, app name doesn't work, but the rest of it does. Turn with app name. Uh, app name G app name SL content because app name is in the header. So here's what we need to do, guys. This is where it comes back to that key value pair processing. So this is that whole thing I was talking about where there needs to actually be a function that handles what's relevant in this context. Um, and at the moment, I'm not doing that, which is going to create weird issues later. Because now I have to do these funky extra things. And actually, I should probably just hang on. Or I should probably actually be doing these as like a global vars function. Okay. And then it's going to transplant those. Okay, so all right. Um, oh, I restarted it already. So did we fix it? We fixed it. Mm -hmm.